Time to get introduced to our animation assignment. So for this assignment, assignment three, this is kind of our final compositing project because you have to use some pixels that you've already created. They can be from your cartoon jumble exercise. They can be from your custom emoji shape vector shape exercise. Like you see with this past student example, they can be from your lance, fantasy landscape, they can be from your creature, or they can be a combination of any of those. I think I had one student that, that did all four within their animation. You can also bring new things, new pixels into your animation. You could bring your creature into a new landscape, right? Or you can put your creature into an MMA fighting match, you know? You can bring in new pixels as long as you're using something you've already used before. Now, here is the whole point of this project. We're doing a GIF animation, which is a short, fairly low res, made for screen resolution uh, way of animating. We're going to use Photoshop for it. And it is best suited to small transformations. So not big changes in narrative, not changes in time or place, but transformations to either character or to setting. What it, we, we don't want is this kind of thing, where it's fun and challenging and an animation, but this is what's called a motion test. It just shows how things move. We want them to like set themselves on fire and then come back we want them to solidify into rock we want something right or we want a curtain to fall on them that would be a change in setting so as long as it's a transformation of either character or setting it's a good thing to do this is my favorite one this might inspire what i do they're all looking at this little baby this baby sucks them all up kind of kirby style now these are all by terry gilliam why i show you these is these are from the middle of the 20th century. This is all not done digitally. This is done with magazine cutouts and photography. Because we're approaching, like we do most things, animation in the most basic way we can. Right? Just understanding the elements and frame by frame and focusing on the storytelling aspects of it. Where movement is our new thing to composite with. Now digital art is particularly suited for this kind of animation because it can make perfect copies. And we need lots of copies to animate. And then we can make little variations. We're going to see past in instructor and student examples. The really the only deliverable is this assignment. And we get a little bit longer to do this in the course outline because there's a lot to it. But there are three things you're going to turn in for this project. And the first I want you to have started and so I can go over it with you next class, the beginning of class. And that is a rough storyboard. And we're going to storyboard in nine square frames because it's the most universal. So think of it like you're, you're going to be posting something to social media that's animated. So we're going to compose it in a square. That can be based on a setting. So this is using you know, a fantasy landscape and a creature design and then showing the transformation of it kind of turning into that cocoon ball. This is showing a transformation of just the emoji of exercise two which could be very satisfying because vector shapes are very clean, you know. And this is, this is another one using a creature in a setting. But the three things you're going to turn in is your storyboard sketch, your GIF animation, which will be around 8 by 8 inches by 100 pixels per inch. So this is a screen resolution project, not a print project. And then we're going to do what's called a refined storyboard, which is like a comic book of the nine biggest moments from your animation. And that's going to be print quality because we'll print that if, if you do want to print it for your portfolio at 8 by 10 at 300 pixels per inch. Because each of these is around 8 by 8 by 100. <laughs> so they shrink down and you get that resolution. You can see lots of more examples which might help you with your ideas in Imgur and past tutorial videos in our YouTube. And again, you'll see the storyboard sketch. You'll see the refined storyboard, which is taken from film stills, basically from the animation. And you'll see the animated files. If you go beyond nine, you're welcome to. Just beware, that means a lot more work. right? 
for your basic concept. You want to see that one again? They're fun. GIF animations, you just watch them over and over. This was an emoji for the Lord of the Flies. Yeah, and some of you will really get into this. I really like this one. I don't like how the sketch is filling up the whole page, but that's okay. The concept is there. All they did is take their fantasy landscape and then set fire to it. But that's fun to do. And it's not required that you set it to reset at the end, so it loops beautifully, but it's a nice bonus to have it kind of reset itself. And that's something we'll, we'll talk about. This is the one you saw at the beginning. So you see that one kind of just jump cuts back, but it does have at least one panel that transitions it back, which is nice. This one, classic sociopathic cats. So you can be very creative. So this uses the fantasy landscape, but it adds those and that new element of that bomb, and then of course all the explosion and the static. This one actually hand drew a lot of stuff, so it took their fantasy creature and then kind of hand drew a skeleton and used kind of a flame brush. And here's kind of the most basic example, right? Just a little shift, but it needs to showcase a transformation, not just a movement test. So how do we start? I want you to read through the assignment. See some of my inspiring examples here. And then start your storyboard sketch. You can do it digitally or in a sketchbook. I think a sketchbook actually works a little bit better. But I will draw digitally here just so I can have it on the video for you. Actually, no, I'm going to sketch it at the beginning of next class because of time. So if you if you would like to see me sketching it out, just go to the YouTube because this process is the same semester to semester. And go to assignment three and you'll see my first videos uh -huh, are about how to sketch this out. So you're going to start with nine squares. You want to think about what the character element is. That's the thing you're telling the transformation through, what the setting is, and then the way you get the illusion of time passing is through multiple images. Yeah. You need to include something you've made from the class. So almost no matter what you want to do, you could do it in your fantasy landscape or some aspect of your fantasy landscape. Yeah, I don't want to limit your creativity, but you do need to use some pixels you have previously created. And that ensures kind of the quality of what we're doing. So we know what resolutions we're, we're messing with. So that the, um, the emojis or the vectors that we made before mm -hmm. we didn't even animate those. Yeah, that's an that's a ideal example. And you'll see a lot of students have done that. So take your emoji and figure out where do you want to bring it. And I think I'm going to animate my emoji for my second section. And for you guys, I'm going to animate something with the creature in the setting. All right. And if you need inspiration, Terry Gilliam, good, simple ideas, right? To execute them well can, can be very, very effective. And this kind of rough stop motion does very much simulate what GIFs are able to do. This won't be 24 frame per second, like smooth feature length animation. Or 80 frame per second like video game. <laughs> this is going to be more like three frames per second. Oh, there it's a lot of fun. All right. So come with those sketches and those ideas. We'll go over those sketches. And as I'm demonstrating it, you'll know how to improve them uh, at the beginning of Wednesday's class. I don't want to take you over time. <laughs>